So I just wanted to do a quick chat about season two of Hemlock Grove. I definitely really enjoyed the first season. The second season obviously definitely does go along with the tagline of even demons have demons and it was definitely a lot more dark, a lot more brooding, um, definitely a lot more um, character detail and whatnot, but I don't know. I mean, I still liked this show, but it felt like this time something was missing. Last time it was a lot more interesting because everyone was trying to find out who the uh, Vargol wa Vargolf was. So to me the appeal was the, the the little mystery aspect. Now in this season there really wasn't anything to be discovered or anything hidden, any secrets, anything like that. It's just more the fact of the, the infant trying to be kept secret um, as well as just trying to as well as the issue with Roman trying to keep Olivia away from his daughter and also just kind of Roman trying to come to terms with and accepting the fact that he is a new peer. So definitely interesting. Um, you also have issues with Olivia. Um, obviously at the end of the first season she was not only attacked by her son but had her tongue bitten off. And I definitely did notice the uh, the difference in her enunciation, and I'm assuming this was done because of the fact that they're implying that her her tongue was bitten off, so she doesn't um, enunciate as much with her accent as she did in the in the first season, which is fine by me. It doesn't really bother me. I know a lot of people had complaints over the accent to begin with by saying that it was distracting. I honestly liked it. I I thought it was a very interesting accent, but whatever. So you do have somewhat of a lot of, um, you definitely have a lot more drama going on in this second season, just issues with characters dealing with their internal, as well as a new person in town um, who eventually becomes a wet nurse to Roman's daughter. You also have issues with um, the hidden society or the secret society, which um, sort of hunts the the creatures that go bump in the night. We do learn a smidge more about them, but honestly at this point I'm kind of tired of them hanging around and I just rather just get on with a different storyline, but some of the main differences I noticed um, with Olivia other than the change in accent was the fact that she no longer consistently wears white. She wears a lot more darker colors, mostly red, and I'm assuming this is the fact that she has been tainted. She no longer has her upier strength because her immune system has been affected due to being attacked by Roman. Um, she also does have somewhat of a um, a run-in with trying to, to be cured with an ailment that, sh that has befallen her. She, she also pretty much has been discovered for the creature that she is, so it makes sense to me that her clothing would become darker. She's no longer wearing sheep's skin. To some degree, there is still a bit of love story stuff going on, which I really don't care too much for, honestly. I'm not the stereotypical woman who cares about all of the sappy junk. I just want to see people get torn to shreds. What is so wrong with that? And the only thing I can actually appreciate about this show is that the lousy love stories eventually do fall apart and we can just have the monsters back and everything goes back to normal. But I find it a bit difficult this season to give somewhat of a synopsis about what is going on, especially the fact that it's first weekend, a lot of people are still watching this series or still haven't gotten a chance to see it, so I don't want to ruin anything, which is mostly why I'm just doing a comparison between first season and second season more than anything. Um, another of the things that I did like at the beginning of season two is um, the music seems a lot more carefully selected. There's a lot more mood music, but as the series progresses, it just seems like they rely too much on the music, so to me at some point it kind of becomes a bit distracting, but I definitely still do love the series. I definitely want to continue to watch it. Anyone that has um, completed watching second season, I would definitely love to chat and share more thoughts with you. One of the things to me that was, one of the main things I was looking forward to was um, Christina the Vargolf from the first season. Um, at the end of the uh, at at 
the end of the very last episode, you hear a lot of screaming, she's crying to be let out, and I thought that they were going to revert back to old mythology, and the reason I'm saying this is because I have not read any of the books, I'm not familiar with that, I'm just going strictly off of just blind viewership here, so if you've read the books, please forgive my ignorance, but I honestly thought that she was going to come back as a vampire, the whole mythology that dead werewolves always come back as vampires. To me that was very intriguing. She did come back as a werewolf because I suppose she was not murdered or killed properly and she resumes hunting Shelley. She gets her comeuppance but I don't know that was one of the main curiosities that, that I was really wanting answered and I got my answer it just wasn't what I thought it was going to be. Um, not too happy about the fact that they changed the actress playing Shelley or the fact that Shelley is now a speaking character, but it makes sense. She's on her own journey. She has changed and grown as a person, so there has to be some way of, of showing change for her as well. I don't like Shelley's makeup in the second season either. Um, it is for the most part the same, but the fact that she has like somewhat of a partial remaining hair or side cut rather than just being completely bald and having the wig that she had in the first season. I don't know, I just really did not care for that at all. Aside from the change in clothing, um, Olivia wearing white clothes, now darker clothes, her shoes have also changed. Uh, they're all a lot less glamorous and I'm assuming this is due, the, due to the fact that um, she now uses a cane, she's recovering, but she wears sensible flats. But I guess that's all I have for season two. I was trying to keep it brief and not ruin too much for those of you who haven't gotten around to seeing it or haven't finished seeing it. Um, but like I said, I would definitely love to share some thoughts with you who have seen the show or who do um, enjoy watching the show. Another thing that I'm actually looking forward to is the fact that Scream Factory has announced that they will be uh, distributing season one. I believe this would be out sometime in October, which once again I am looking forward to, especially the fact that Orange is the New Black was released a lot sooner than Hemlock Grove, and I don't know the reason why this was done. I find it very curious, but it definitely would be good to finally have a physical copy of the show, although if you have Netflix it's no big deal. You can always just go back and watch it whenever, but I am very old school, I'm not going to lie. I prefer tangible things. I'm not much of the digital age, digital downloads, digital purchases, but I'm kind of leading off into a different conversation, so I'm just going to stop right there, and I will talk to you guys later.